In this video we'll look at how to take the graph of a function and then determine the graph of its derivative. So here we have a cubic and if I use the graphics calculator I'll draw the graph of f dash of x which will be a quadratic and my y-axis is no longer y for this uh, second graph it is in fact f dash of x or the slope. At this point here, um, local min has a zero slope, and therefore if I were to plot a point on the derivative function, I'd have um, a point on the x-axis. Using this vertical line, I can line up where the uh, zero slope occurs, and then it's been transferred down to a point on the x-axis on my second graph. At this point here, likewise, local max has zero slope, and you can see on the uh, derivative graph we're in fact going through zero where the slope is zero at that point. Now this section of the curve here has positive slope. And you can see down here this is where we have positive slope and if I then look at this part of the curve uh, this is what we would graph for the above section which has positive slope we've gone from zero and then we've gone positive after that point right, this section of the graph has negative slope so when we transfer that onto our derivative function we should be negative down here and we can see this part of the curve is in fact negative So negative here in terms of slope and negative below. Now once again zero slope and we've plotted zero at those two points. Now point of inflection. We've got um, concave section here convex section. So a point of inflection separates those two different shapes. And if you put a vertical line we can see that the point of inflection when we draw our derivative function happens to be the turning point on f dash of x. So this part of the graph here the slope is approaching zero. It's getting smaller and getting closer to zero. So here our slope, our values are getting smaller Then after the point of inflection, the slope begins increasing back towards zero. So down here, this section, uh, we're approaching zero. So at the point of inflection, the slope starts moving back to zero. Now at these points, we've had zero slope. Original function has zero slope, transferred down to the second graph. We have positive slope on that side, negative slope here, 